Good morning, grade eight students. In this session, we're going to continue with our chapter about digestion. So we finished the first three parts. We talked about the different parts of the digestive system. We talked about the different types of the organic food and the different food tests, including the Fehling test, Bayerit test, uh, coagulation test, uh, iodine test, sodium test, translucent spot test, and all the different tests that are with the positive negative and the negative results. Let's now move to the part four. Part four is talking about enzymes. So what are the enzymes? What do they do inside our body? And how do they function? First, let's start step by step. Digestive system, as we know, is divided into digestive tube and digestive gland. Digestive tube, there are organs through which the food passes through them. Whereas digestive gland, organ through which food doesn't pass through. You have to know that the organs of the digestive tube, they include the mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, and finally we have the anus, where the excess food and the waste, they are secreted in the form of waste or stool. While digestive gland, we have salivary gland that's found inside the mouth, gastric gland at the level of the stomach, pancreas, liver, and intestinal gland at the level of the small intestine. So let's start step by step. What is the function of the digestive glands? Digestive glands, they secrete digestive juices into their side of action. For example, salivary gland, they secrete saliva where? Inside the mouth, where the medium is neutral. What does the word neutral mean? If the pH is equal to what? It's less than or greater than what? Who can tell me? First, what is the meaning of a neutral? By raising your hands, please. Neutral, what does the neutral mean? Yes? What does the neutral mean? Yes, Gabriel. The neutral is the is between the acidic and the basic. Okay, the pH is equal to what? It's not acidic nor basic. The pH is equal to seven. Very good. Very seven. good, Gabriel. So pH is equal to seven. Please, anyone have to answer? Have to raise your hand before you answer. Thank you, Gabriel. So here's the pH equals seven. It's a neutral medium. While the gastric gland, they secrete a special juice. It's called gastric juice. This gastric juice is secreted at the level of the stomach, where the medium is acidic. What can you say, Ali Hassan Basma, about the acidic medium, the pH? What is the pH of the acidic medium? Uh, greater than seven. pH, it's greater than seven? Acidic? Uh, less than seven. Less than seven. Less so than pH, seven. less than seven, it's acidic. Why? The pancreas, it secretes a juice. It's called pancreatic juice. Liver secretes a juice. It's called the bile. Intestinal gland secretes an intestinal juice. All of them, they are at the level of the small intestine where the medium is basic. What can you say about, us, about the basic medium? What can you say about B pH? The pH of the basic is uh, more than 7. Greater than 7. Very good. So here, you have to know this that the neutral medium is only in the mouth where the pH is equal to seven, where salivary glands, they secrete saliva. Saliva is the one that's found inside the mouth. It's called the saliva. And the pH is equal to seven. Gastric glands, they secrete gastric juice where in the stomach, where the medium is acidic. You hear some people, they have high acidity at the level of the stomach. This is because of this juice. Pancreas, they secrete pancreatic juice at the level of the small intestine. Liver also secretes bile at the level of the small intestine. Intestinal glands, they secrete intestinal juice also at the level of the intestine, small intestine for sure, where the medium is basic and pH is greater than 7. So the big question is, what is the meaning of neutral, acidic, and basic? Let's look here. At this pH okay this pH scale we have the pH scale we have from 1 to 14 
seven or about seven, it's considered as a neuter. So from 6.5 to about 7.5, it's considered as a neuter, where the water, it's a neuter, where the pH is equal to seven. Greater than seven, it's basic, meaning that nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So for example, the human blood, the pH is equal to 7.4. pH of the soap is 10, and pH 12 for the household bleach. For example, you use it in houses, for, for example, for cleaning the dishes and so on. So they are basic. So we're not, we never move from the neutral. So as we move from seven up, the basicity increase. So the basic, the most basic uh, element when the pH is 14, less basic 13, less basic 12, less basic 11 and so on. So as we move from the seven, the medium is going to be more basic as we move up for sure. Acidic, it's less than seven. So as we move away from the seven, the medium will be more acidic. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. For example, the human urine, your urine pH is equal to five. To make a juice, the pH is equal to four. While the gastric juice is secured by the gastric gland, so here the pH is equal to two. So it's very acidic. It's high acid. It's a great, a strong acid. So as we move from the neutral away from the neutral to the word less than seven, we are moving to the acidity. So one is the strongest acid. Two is less. Three is less. As we move toward the seven, the acidity will decrease. As well as for the basic, as we move away from the seven, the basicity will increase. As, as we move near to the seven, the basicity will decrease. So you have to know that whenever we have pH, it's around seven, between 6.5 and seven, it's in neutral. Greater than seven, it's basic. Less than seven, it's, it's acidic. So you have to know this. Let's move now to definition of digestion. What is digestion? Digestion, as you know, is the set of chemical and mechanical. Mechanical, cutting the foot into smaller pieces. Chemical is the action of something called the enzyme. So cuts the foot into smaller pieces. These smaller pieces, they are called the nutrients. And these will be used by the body cells to produce the energy. So digestion cuts large complex foot molecules into smaller ones, they are called nutrients. And these will be used by the body cell. So digestion contains, consists of two processes. First one is the chemical, number one. And the second one is considered, it's called the mechanical. Chemical involves the enzymes. And we are going to talk about the enzymes. Why mechanical involves cutting the foot into smaller pieces. This is what we know by the mechanical smaller pieces. Okay, so if you watch the video, you will know the first what are the enzymes. All the digestive juices, they contain enzymes unless bile. Which gland secretes the juice bile? Who can tell me? I want a new hands here. Who can tell me which juice can secrete the bile? Yes, Adam. Liver. Liver secretes the bile. All the juices, they contain the enzymes, except for the bile. It doesn't contain any enzyme. What are the enzymes? Enzymes, all of you know the scissors. Us, all of you know this. So the scissor, it cuts the paper, for example, into smaller pieces. So enzymes, they are scissors, but they are in biology. They cut the foot, they digest, they hydrolyze, they break down, they transform. All of them, they have the same meaning, digestion. Digest, cut, transform, hydrolyze, break down. All of them, they have the same meaning. So enzymes, they are important to cut the foot into smaller pieces. They are called biological catalysts. What does this mean? A catalyst in chemistry is a substance 
that speed up the reaction, that accelerate the reaction, that make it faster. You took this in physics, accelerate. Accelerate, make it faster. So it accelerate the digestion reaction and it make the digestion process finish faster and faster. But well, this substance, it's not consumed, will remain the same at the end of the digestion process. So enzymes, what are the enzymes? They are biological scissors. This is the definition of enzymes. They are biological scissors that cut, that break down, that hydrolyze, that transform food. They are a catalyst. What the meaning of catalyst? It increases the speed of the reaction. It speeds up, it accelerates the speed of the reaction, but it remains unchanged at the end of the reaction. It stays the same. And its amount will not decrease, it stays the same. Let's now move to this important table. Important table about the enzymes. This table, you have to study the first part. This is the first part of the table. And this is the only part required for this week. So in this table, as you see, we have different titles. The first title is the organ. Here we have the organ. Second, we have the name of the gland. Third, we have the name of the juice. Fourth, we have the enzyme. Five, we have the substrate, the product, chemical medium, and the temperature in degrees Celsius. Step by step, let's identify this organ. What is the name of the organ? Like the mouth, stomach, small intestine. We have these three different organs. Mouth, stomach, and the small intestine. Digestive glands. Digestive glands, what do they do? The gland that secretes the juices. Salivary gland, gastric gland, pancreas, liver, small intestine. All of them, they are the glands. And we know them at the beginning of the session. Juices. What are the juices? Salivary glands, it secretes saliva. Gastric gland, it secretes gastric juice. Pancreas, it secretes pancreatic juice. Liver, it secretes bile. Intestinal glands, who can tell me? Intestinal glands, what do they secrete? Please, Sarah Isa. Intestinal glands, what do they secrete? Which juice? Let's see if you remember this. Raising your hands. Yes, Karim. Intestinal glands, what do they secrete? It says they secrete pancreatic juice. No, intestinal glands, I said. Not pancreas. Intestinal glands. Yes, Maya? Gastric juice? No. Gastric juice is secreted by the stomach. Oh intestinal God. glands, what do they secrete? But no. Yeah, let's move. Uh, let's move to the notes. Let's move to the notes here. Yes, Tia, do you know? Yeah. Intestinal juice. Please, please, please. Who's speaking? I think yes, does. Adam, Tarek, and Karim, you don't speak without permission, please. Yes, Tia, your, your answer is? Intestinal juice. Excellent. Intestinal juice. Here is the table, guys. Here is the table. So intestinal glands, what do they secrete? Intestinal juice. So if you don't study this, this is a big problem here. Intestinal glands, they secrete intestinal juice. Salivary gland, they secrete saliva. Gastric gland, they secrete gastric juice. Pancreas secrete pancreatic juice, Karim. Liver, it secretes the bile. So these are very important before we start with this table. So here, first we talk about the gland about the juice here we move to the name of the enzyme and the substrate for example mr muhammad teach which subject who can tell me mr muhammad teaches which subject who can tell me yes my biology biology so biology is the substrate for mr muhammad so mr muhammad studies uh, teaches biology so it is called the substrate for example the enzyme works on a specific substance. It's the substrate it one can work on. 
So you are working on the tablet. The tablet is your substrate. You are working on your phone. So your phone is called the substrate. While the product is the result, what will happen for this substrate? Chemical medium, whether it's acidic, basic, or neutral. And temperature, which is always 37 degrees Celsius because the enzymes, they work at 37 because it's the normal body temperature and they can work their best at this temperature. Let's start with the first one highlighted in yellow. Let's start with this one, which is the mouth. In the mouth, we have a gland. What do we call this gland? It's called salivary gland. What does the salivary gland secrete? It secretes a juice, it's called the saliva. Saliva who will read? So this is called the saliva. Saliva, it contains a special enzyme. It's called salivary amylase. Any word that end with A's, from now on, we will consider it as an enzyme. And we have some exception. So any word that ends with A's, it's an enzyme. So amylase, and it's called salivary amylase. What's the meaning of salivary amylase? That means that it's found inside the saliva. So this amylase, it works on which substance? It works on the substrate. This substrate is the starch. So we work on starch. So if you bring a piece of bread and you put it inside your mouth without chewing, just put it in your mouth few seconds this will dissolve why because we have the enzyme which is called salivary amylase it works on the starch it digests the starch to give what it digests the starch so whenever you eat the piece of bread in your mouth you will have a sweet taste this is because of the maltose which is the sugar and the medium inside our mouth is in neutral so the pH is equal to 7. And temperature always, it's 37 degrees Celsius. Why? Because it's the normal body temperature. So I repeat, salivary glands, what do they secrete? They secrete saliva. It contains which enzyme? Salivary amylase that works on the substrate that we call it starch. And when the starch is digested, by salivary amylase, it gives which a product? It gives maltose. Medium is neutral, temperature 37. If I ask you, Ya Ali Fadi Basma. Good morning, Ya Ali. Yes. If I ask you, Ali, what is the name of the test that we do it in order to identify the presence of starch? The iodine test. Iodine, what is the positive result? Uh, Which color? If we the, do? If the brown color appears. No, it's not the brown. It's dark blue color. Okay? Dark, dark blue. Very good. So here is the first type. Here is the first part of the table. It's almost done. So salivary gland. It secretes a juice, it's called saliva. This saliva contains an enzyme, it's called salivary amylase. And this enzyme, it works on the starch to give maltose. Medium is in neutral. Temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. Moving now to the second one. This is the saliva. Here is the saliva. This is called the saliva. Moving now to the second organ, which is the stomach. Inside the stomach, we have which gland? We have the gastric gland. It secretes which juice? It's called the gastric juice. In the gastric juice, at best, you have a question or you forgot to lower your hand? Okay, great. So, gastric juice, it contains a special enzyme. It's called pepsin. Pepsin. It works on which substrate? It works on protein to give which product? Polypeptide, but you can say instead of polypeptide, you can say peptide. The medium is acidic. 
meaning that the pH is less than seven and the temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. Always the temperature, as you see, is 37 degrees Celsius. So I will repeat, gastric gland at the level of the stomach, it secretes a juice called gastric juice. This juice contains an enzyme which is called pepsin. Pepsin, it works on a protein to give peptide. So it digests protein, the complex, to the intermediate, which is called the peptide. The medium here is acidic, and the pH is less than 7. How can we know that pepsin works on protein to give peptide? Pepsin, it starts with the letter P. Protein, it starts with the letter P. Peptide, it starts with the letter P. So we have three P. Pepsin works on protein to give peptide. So we have the three P's here. So this is called the pepsin. Works on protein to give peptide. How can we know that pepsin works in acidic medium? Pepsin, it's similar to which word? Who can tell me pepsin? It's similar to which word? Yes, Karim? Pepsi, yes, that's... Pepsi. So pepsin, it's similar to the word Pepsi. Pepsi, very good, yeah, Karim. So those who watch the video will know this. So pepsin works on a protein to give peptide. How can we know that the medium is acidic if you ever got this? If you forgot this, pepsin, it's similar to Pepsi. Pepsi is acidic. So pepsin works in acidic medium, which is in the stomach. Now, let's move to the third one. Third one, this is called about the pH level of the stomach. It's about four to five, but mainly here, it's about acidic medium, it's two to three, the gastric juice. Third one, at the level of the small intestine. The level of the small intestine, here we have a neutral at the mouth, acidic at the level of the stomach, and from now on, all of them, they are basic. So only we have two differences. All of them, they are basic, except for the stomach, which is acidic, and the mouth, which is neutral. The pancreas, which is juice, is secreted, it's secreted pancreatic juice. This pancreatic juice contains an enzyme peptidase. It's under the word ACE. So peptidase is an enzyme. From its name, peptidase, it works on peptide. To give what? To give amino acid. And the medium here, it's basic, meaning that the pH it's greater than seven. And also the temperature, as you know, is 37 degrees Celsius, which is the temperature of the body. So I repeat, pancreas, secret pancreatic juice that contains an enzyme peptidase. From its name, peptidase works on peptides, okay? To give product amino acid pH, it's greater than seven since it's basic. Also, pancreas secretes different, or contains different enzymes in the juice. So this is the pancreatic juice at the level of the pancreas. It contains different enzymes. Second type of enzymes in the pancreatic juice is called trypsin. So trypsin, it works on a protein to give amino acid. The medium is also basic. So the pH is greater than seven and the temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. Who can tell me which enzyme is stronger? Pepsin or trypsin? Justify your answer. The one who knows this with a clear justification, complete answer will get plus one for the quiz. Let's see, which one is uh, stronger, pepsin or trypsin? Yes, let's see. I need new voices. I need others. I need uh, Rewa, Ghadi, uh, Ahmad Salhab. I need to hear your voice, Hadil. I need your hers to hear the voice of Sinin, Alma, Sinin Iftouni, Sabine Swaidan, Leia Bustani. I want to hear your voices. Okay, Adam, only one chance for, for, for everyone. Only one chance. Yes, Adam, yours. Well, pepsin is uh, stronger. 
cups and wine. Mm. It's false, not Pepsi. <laughs> Let's continue. It's not Pepsi. Yes, Maya. Pay attention, ya, ya Adam. Yes, Estelle. Estelle. Which one is stronger? Um, they are both the same. No. Because. No. No. Yes, Mahid. The last one is Mahid. Before I answer this, yes. Yes, Mahid. Uh, can you repeat your answer? More acid. Pepsin. Pepsin? No. No. Okay. So I will answer this. It says Abin. Pepsin, it digest protein into peptide. So protein is the complex form of protein. It's called the protein. The peptide is the intermediate, right? If you study the forms of the foot, it's the intermediate. While trypsin, it digests protein, which is the complex, into amino acid, which is the simple form. So which one is stronger? Sure, it's trypsin. It digests from the complex, to the simple here from the complex of the intermediate so they have another step for the simple so this one is stronger trypsin moving now to the other enzyme we have the pancreas also secrete pancreatic juice that contains the enzyme amylase so it ends with the word ase it works on starch to give maltose and the medium is basic where the ph is greater than seven this one is similar to the first, but this one was salivary amylase. This one was only amylase. So this one, it works in a neutral medium, while this amylase in the pancreas, it works in the basic. Both of them, they work on starch. Both of them, they, work, they give maltose here, but the difference, the salivary amylase, it works in a neutral medium, pH equals seven, whereas the amylase in the pancreatic juice it works in a basic medium pH greater than seven. Moving now to the other one in the pancreas. Also the pancreas, did you see here how many enzymes in pancreas? So here we have one, here we have two, here we have three, here is four and five we don't have, I will say why. Yeah, so five, Pan four, sorry. Pancreas secretes also pancreatic juice contains the enzyme lipase. Also, it ends with the word ACE. Lipase, from its name, lipase, it works on what? On lipase. So it works on lipids to give what? Lipids, we have only complex form and simplest form. We don't have intermediate. So it gives fatty acids and glycerol from its name. Lipase is very easy. Lipase, it works on lipids, okay? To give fatty acids and glycerol. The medium is basic. So the pH is greater than 7. Okay? Moving now to part 5. Also the liver. Liver here secretes the bile. Here, what is the name of the enzyme? I leave it empty. What is the name of the enzyme? Who can tell me this? What is the name of the enzyme? Here, I leave it empty. Who can give me what is the name of the enzyme? Yes, Tia. There is no enzyme. Why? You said in, in the video. Excellent, excellent. So bile contains no enzyme. Very good, Tia. Very good. This is a plus one for Tia since you watched the video and she knew that I said this in the video before. Very good, Tia. So bile contains no enzymes. We said this before in the lecture, and I said it in the video. Bile is the only juice that contains no enzyme, but it works on lipids. So it did emulsify, it gives emulsified lipids. Who can tell me according to the video? What does the emulsified lipid mean? Yeah, let's see who watched the video or not. Emulsified lipid, who can tell me? Okay. Great, so let's move. Emulsification of fats. Emulsification. You said that lipids or the fats, they are breaking down, broken down using the lipase. So lipase broke down into the fatty acids and the glycerol. 
but this lipids is very large this piece of lipid is very large lipase can't broke large pieces it can it broke down small pieces so in order to do this bile will do what will do emulsification so will divide will move into the pieces of the fats to separate them from each other and to bring them into smaller size since lipase cannot digest the large pieces so bile contain the, the bile it makes emulsification emulsification yani before fitl before fetal fats and then the lipase come and digest them into fatty acids and glycerol yani lipase lawahdo can't work it needs the work of the bile bile بيعمل لهم emulsification it gives emulsified lipids these are the emulsified lipids so emulsified يعني lipids before fit on into smaller pieces and this will help in the process of digestion of the lipids by lipase lipase can digest the large pieces so اذا حطينا lipase هون ما في يعمل لها digestion it's very large so it needs the participation of the bile bile it makes emulsification so it emulsify the lipids before fit on the lipids then bijil lipase يعمل break down smaller particles smaller fats or smaller lipids into fatty acids and glycerol so the role of the lip of the bile is not digestion it do emulsification that's why here the word emulsified is the adjective emulsified lipid يعني lipids مفرفطين they are separated and then they come the lipase and digest them into smaller pieces so here the action of the bile it doesn't contain an enzyme but it works in the emulsification it emulsifies the lipids it works in a basic medium where the ph is greater than 7 and it is the temperature is 37 degrees celsius these notes are very important you have to study them thank you